Hey, Tyler, Theater Design Company. Gonna do Tech Tuesday, week number eight. This should be a fairly fast but effective video. And this one's gonna be on Lutron shading. So in our demo room here, we have a Lutron honeycomb shade and we have a triathlon roller shade. And so I'm actually holding the camera, so I'm gonna do this with just one hand. So lift up this way. Kind of see I've angled the bracket out and you pull up and down. And there you've got your D batteries. Now this will vary between shades. So if you get a larger shade, something that's in the four to six foot range, again, you can pull it from the middle, but what I recommend is two people and you'll have one person on the corner and they'll pull up on the side. Someone else will pull up on the other corner and again, simultaneously just lift down and you'll have on the larger shades, you're gonna have a bank of four batteries here, four batteries here. The smaller shades run the batteries right in the center because that's all the room they have for it. So that covers a Lutron Triathlon shade battery change. Now when you get to the honeycomb shades, similar approach, except for you've got clips here and the, your threshold or your mantle be here on a uh, normal shade pocket, window pocket. So those would be right up in here. And so this one surface mount because it's in our demo room. And what you'll end up doing here is you'll push in and push in. So you're kind of pushing in and, and almost up a little bit. You're pushing in and to the right and that drops the shade down. And depending again on the honeycomb or shade you have, again, this is a smaller profile 20 inch shade for our demo room. So it uses a pack of four AA batteries here and a pack of four AA batteries here. When you get into a larger shade that rolls over to this direction, you're gonna have D batteries. So again, fairly simple approach. So that goes over those tasks on those two Lutron shades. I'll do a future video with the Honeycomb Architectural. I'll have our architectural shade sitting in our demo room at this point um, in the next couple of weeks. So we'll do a kind of, maybe I'll even do an add on to this video and repost it. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over a Pico battery change, which is again, an important factor on these, uh, the Picos last anywhere from five to 10 years, the Pico remote batteries. These last anywhere from um, two years to three years, again, two to three years, depending on the shade, the length. Okay, so this will be the last part of this video. Again, just a quick Tech Tuesday video for our uh, Tuesday series. This is a Lutron Pico audio keypad. Um, which quick note, if you run a Sonos system, this is an awesome product to add to your Lutron system. It can do play, pause, volume up, down, favorite, and then track forward on your Sonos system. So you can just walk up to your keypad, no phone needed. All right, so back to the main focus though, is you've got a Pico audio keypad here. I'm gonna change the battery. So how I do it is actually just take a penny and you can just pop it right apart. And so simple battery change and it just takes a standard CR 2032 battery, link in description on those. You'll swap the battery in. Doesn't affect the programming, doesn't affect anything. And again, you'll just pop that back together. So we've got our fresh battery, the light might be more green. And then we'll slide that back into our Pico or our pedestal or however we decide. A uh, quick note on batteries, uh, the Lutron trainings that I've gone to, they always recommend a Duracell battery. I've also found in a pinch that we've used the Amazon basic batteries, uh, which is super nice because you're going to get them in one or two days. All right. Anyway, kind of another short Tech Tuesday video. But again, if you're a Lutron owner and you need to know how to do this, hopefully this was uh, help for you. Thanks a lot.